Good morning, 47. The board has sanctioned Eric Soda's for termination. After Colorado, we did some digging into Soda's private affairs and discovered that he has been fast-tracked for critical heart surgery at the hyper-exclusive Gama Private Hospital in Hokkaido, Japan. Such a display of power has providence written all over it. Soda's, who suffers from a rare condition known as situs inversus, where his internal organs are reversed, desperately needs a right-sided heart transplant and has clearly betrayed the ICA to get it. He was admitted last night and is currently being prepped for a three-day surgery. We have booked you into Gama under the usual guise of Tobias Reaper, corporate shark, here for a standard medical checkup. As such, you will need to play it by ear and procure whatever tools you need to complete the mission. You also need to eliminate Yuki Yamazaki, a Tokyo lawyer who works for Providence. Sodas has already given Yamazaki access to our client records and has agreed to provide a full list of active ICA operatives post-operation. This transaction cannot be allowed to happen. Sodas must pay for his treachery and his insidious employers must be taught a lesson. ICA's sovereignty is at stake. Powerful as Providence may be, we need to draw a line in the sand. I will leave you to prepare. Welcome to Hokkaido 47. The Gama Private Hospital provides cutting-edge medical treatment for the global elite outside the law if required. The facility is partially run by an artificial intelligence system known as Kai. Kai. The AI oversees patient admission to various areas in the hospital and even participates in some medical procedures. You will find Eric Soders in the operating theater, undergoing a pre-surgery regenerative stem cell treatment, a highly controversial procedure yet to be approved by Japanese authorities. Yuki Yamazaki has already arrived. You'll find her in her suite or roaming the restaurant and spa areas of the hospital. Sodas is scheduled to be put under soon. Let us make sure he stays that way. Good luck, 47. Hello, Mr. Reaper. As part of the service here at Gamma, your personal robe has been outfitted with a radio frequency identification chip. The device I'm being cut to look like Helmut Kruger. Yeah. Helmut Kruger? The model? 47, yeah, yeah. I have intel. I mean, you know, the was always there. So you tell me, you know that. If they would tell me, hey, you look... Just like Helmut Kruger, and I'm like, shut up. But here I am, just sort of fulfilling a prophecy, I guess. I'm about to go meet my surgeon for a checkup, and I can't wait to see what I look like underneath. But you're Jason Portman, the new face of Silicon Valley. Modem called you the golden brain. Your stock is soaring. How will people react if you suddenly look like someone else? Shut up, you'll see. <laughs> Once the bandages come off, it's almost time.
<laughs> oh, hey, Stacy. It's Jason Portman. Yeah, just hanging out in Japan. Did you get the snap I sent earlier? You look very authentically shut Japanese. Up, well done, man. You shut up. That's a good one. No, seriously. No, I'm in the final stages of that thing we always talked about back when we were, uh, you know, uh, item. Regurification, it's happening. It's actually happening. <laughs> Shut up! Yes, two weeks from now. I could be the one on a podium in Paris, and nobody would know the difference. Cheekbones to die for. Cut glass, baby. Almost a shame you won't get to enjoy them, am I right? Am I right? Shut up, the gym? I don't have time for that. My good friends here have a plan for that as well. Full body graft, muscle implants, why wait for months or years when surgeons and endless amounts of money that I have can make it happen in weeks. Screw the natural way. That's the o Shut up, I bet you would. Maybe I'll call you when I get back to LA. Okay, we'll see. Bye, Stacy. Doctor? Hello there. <laughs> Typical. Doc probably got stuck with some old hag with wrinkles down around her ankles. Vaginal rejuvenation or something. I'm sick of waiting around. Come on, hurry up with the boob job or whatever you're doing in there. Hey. Ogenki Deska. These bandages are itchy. Hello. Ah, why isn't that doctor ready yet? Mr. Jason Portman, please come to the hospital entrance. A doctor will escort you to your checkup. That was for Mr. Jason Portman. A doctor will escort you to your appointment. Please proceed to the hospital entrance. Mr. Portman. Perfect timing. Follow me to the consultation room, if you please. You must be eager to see the new you. Gentlemen, Mr. Portman is with me. No need to bother him with unnecessary security measures. Must be good to get out a little, stretch those legs. I do love the options available here at Gamma, but I imagine it can get tedious to lie in bed all day. If you haven't been to the gym yet, you should really go. So, facial surgery? Tends to heal pretty quickly. But I understand yours was quite extensive. Don't worry though. We've got the best facilities here. You'll get those bandages off in no time at all.
You're in good hands, Mr. Portman. G Gum is such an incredible place. The medical facilities are beyond anything I've ever seen in the world. Well, with the exception of perhaps Kronstadt HQ or Ether's R&D facility in Johannesburg. ready for your checkup. Have a nice day. Smart way to get inside, 47. Well done. Mr. Portman, thank you for waiting. If you can just sit down for a moment, I'll get started right away. So, let's have a look at you, Mr. Portman. Be still as I remove the bandages. Oh. Oh my, it's, it's... it's astonishing. Not only are you the spitting image of Helmut Kruger, the, the swelling has completely subsided and there's not a trace of bruising. If I didn't know any better, I'd, I'd say you'd never undergone surgery. It's... it's perfect. It's simply perfect. Just... I'm, I'm sorry. This is, uh... This is very emotional for me. Doctor? Hello, Doc. Days ago, the curator sat on the controller in a sleeping capsule. I have intel. I managed to gather intel from the hospital's security system. 
The chief surgeon, Nicholas Laurent, seems to have frequent rendezvous with a helicopter pilot near the remote personnel exit. And rumor has it that the chief surgeon suffers from trembling hands. Tight security. Oh, you have no idea how stupid you look. I, uh, need another pill. The effect is waning. This way, Doc. I'll show you where my stash is. Hey, I get it. I'm not an errand boy. Lead the way. I, I, I took pilot lessons myself, actually. Didn't get the license, though. Well, I always felt that my hands were... Done, 47. This should provide you with the means to get close to sodas. It's 
Take care, Doctor. That's a little harsh, isn't it? A total ban? I don't know. Patient did die. Famous one, then. Still, it's not the chef's fault. What was a kitchen apprentice thinking, cutting out a fugu fish by himself unsupervised? And it takes years of practice. Didn't the kid realize how poisonous those things are? Uh, he's a kid. He'll probably want to show off. I don't know. Anyway, the hospital is probably better to just ban serving fugu. That was the best party trip. Now what do we do with the last one? Throw it out, I guess.
one passion, to write. But Daddy says that's not a real job, and he is quite my parents if I can take you. All right, 47. Let's make sure this is her last meal. That is Yuki Yamazaki, former lawyer to the Yakuza and current operative for Providence. Um, excuse me. Could I ask you for some fugu roll? A thousand apologies, miss, but hospital administration has put a ban on pufferfish. There was an, uh, incident. Excuse me. Would you like to try our delicious sushi? Freshly prepared, of course. Oh, is this fugu? I knew you would come around eventually. Good for you. I hope you like it. My colleague is a straight arrow. Me, I say it's good to live dangerously. You took the words right out of my mouth. Mmm, yes, mmm. That's exactly right. Smooth, velvet softness. Absolutely delicious. My compliments to the chef. Ticket says. We received your message. Loud and clear, I might add. Honestly, you could have just sacked the poor guy. I didn't catch your name. No, you didn't. There'll be no retaliation. Not for Soders, nor any other recent fiascos. Someone's been meddling in our affairs. Killing our operatives. And making the ICA look like fools. I think you got close to that someone. Closer than we've ever been. That's why we're hiring you to take him down. I don't think so. Don't rattle our cages, Miss Burnwood. You really have no idea. You spy on us, bribe our people, and you have the gall to demand our help. No. You can't be trusted. Even so, we've been around for a long, long time. I think we could help each other. Some 20 years ago, your agency took in a young man with no past and 
extraordinary skills. In his own special way, he cares about you, and vice versa. And ever since that time, you've never stopped wondering where he came from and who made him what he is. There was a doctor, some depraved experiment, but he's gone now. Ah. Well, if you believe the questions died with him, we have nothing further to discuss. If not, as I said, I think we could help each other. Partners, then. Cheer up, Miss Burnwood. We... <laughs> we are the lesser evil. This terrorist. He wants nothing but chaos. He's only a terrorist if you win. Miss Burnwood, we won a long time ago. This... This is maintenance.